Welcome back everybody. So we're gonna ruffle some feathers today, maybe cause a little bit of that butt hurt because we're gonna be talking about micros, slim lines, or even that subcompact market. Because there's a lot of information out there. You can see it all the time in the comments and forums of people saying, oh, there's not enough capacity or you can't run those things or you can't control the recoil impulse. And I really wanted to kind of address those one by one because we have a lot of great options to carry out there. They're minimally sized, giving you a really good amount of capacity and you can still run those things very, very well as long as you are training with them and putting the time in where you need to put the time in. So there are five things, that's right, five things that I want to address today, which were the biggest things that I saw people say when it comes to something like the Shield Plus, the 43X, or even something as small as the Taurus GX4, because we've got a lot of options out there. It's really a good time as far as options go in the 2A community right now. First thing we're gonna talk about is gonna be sight radius. Then we're gonna talk about capacity. Then we're gonna talk about that recoil control, recoil management. Then we're gonna talk about the ability to actually run these like a pistol out on the range doing drills or training. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is hand size when it comes to something like say the Taurus GX4, which you can see compared to the size of my hand is a fairly small setup out there as compared to, you know, big size guns, full size Glock 34, 17s, or even a Glock 19. All right, so pushing right into that first one using the Shield Plus Performance Center because it's got those red and green sights that are very easy to see right there. What is sight radius? What does it mean to you? Sight radius is easy. Distance between rear and front sight, that's it. That's all that matters. However, the shorter that sight radius is, you need to be more precise, not only with your aiming, but with your actual control of the pistol. It's a little bit easier to miss a target when it comes to something that's this short than it is to using something full size. However, there are plenty of people out there that can shoot these things well beyond the distance I can, but I regularly shoot micro slim lines and stuff like that at 25 yards on a standard target. That's pretty good when you take into account that most times when you're carrying something like this, if it's ever gonna be used, it's inside of like seven yards, seven meters, or even down to five or closer that's gonna be a very close encounter right there. So when it comes to sight radius, it's really a level of skill. Have you practiced? Have you trained? And are you doing all the things you need to do to make your rounds go where you want them to go when it comes to that smaller sight radius having pistol? Well, let's talk about number two, the capacity. So we've had a lot of innovations in the pistol market these days. You've got everything from like the 43X that you can get your Shield Arms 15 round magazines giving you the capacity of a Glock 19. So 15 plus one in that. Taurus GX4, you can get factory 13 round magazines for. And then the Shield Plus, you can get factory 13 magazines with it. I'd say that's pretty good. Capacity. It's not full size capacity, but it's a heck of a lot better than say something like the 1911. Two world wars, was in service for decades, did damage around the world, and it's still a fan favorite almost everywhere you go. Big pistol, low capacity, did its job for a very long time. I guess if you're a Star Wars fan, you could say it was a more civilized weapon for a more civilized time. But with all the innovations we've got for manufacturers these days, capacity in these micros and slims has really caught up with the full size stuff. And that argument is still around, but it can generally be addressed with magazines. And number three, recoil control. There is no doubt about it. Controlling the recoil with a massive metal pistol like this 1911 is far easier than controlling the recoil on a tiny little snap and turtle like the Taurus GX4. Now that does not mean that you cannot run that thing effectively at pretty good distances, 25 yards or even further. There are people that can shoot those things far better, faster, and at much greater distances than I can. That recoil management's really gonna come down to knowing your skill level, knowing how to control that pistol, and knowing how it's going to react once you start pulling the trigger. So yes, there's gonna be more recoil, but generally, as long as you're training and you understand good grip and all those fundamentals, you're gonna do far better. Now, if you're not training at all, you don't know how to hold the thing, it might snap on you a little bit. So this one has to be my favorite. You just can't run a slimline or a micro compact. You'll never be able to run it like a full size pistol. Well, yes and no. Will I be able to run it as fast as a full size pistol? Probably not. 
Can I still be very effective and really fast with that micro or slim line? I'm gonna run on some video and you be the judge. So I put those videos in that specific order for a reason. That was from cold start to the third time I ran the drill. I was wearing a borrowed belt from somebody that didn't have much retention. And I just haven't trained from that appendix rig in a while doing those reloads. And you can see by the third drill, knocked it out pretty good. Still in a very time fashion there when it comes to not only the first 10 rounds, but that magazine exchange and re-engagement. And that was just the bare standard drill. So four by six box left, four by six box right and a three inch circle in the middle. So I would say I'm pretty happy with that. Now, the reason I wanted to show you from a cold start what those first uh, experiences were is because if you're not training or you haven't trained in a while, you might have some flubs when it comes to those reloads. And the last one, this just doesn't work with big hands. So this is the Shield Plus and let's put my hand next to this thing and you can see the size of my hand compared to the size of that pistol. And then it's even more exaggerated when it comes to something like the Taurus GX4 or the Hellcat or something like that. And again, same kind of thing as running the pistol. Um, is it gonna be as easy or as fast? No, especially with bigger hands. But again, to me, it comes back down to training. I can do pocket reloads with these things pretty good. I'll roll in some footage of that stuff. You may not be as fast, but even if you have bigger hands, as long as you're training with what you're carrying, it's really a non-issue. You just need to get the skill set out there with whatever you're carrying, whether it's a micro slim or even a full-size pistol. If you don't use it and train with it, you're probably not going to perform very well with it, especially when we insert a lot of stress, high heart rate, or just any other thing that could be going on out there. All right, so I think we have addressed a lot of what I have at least seen out there on the internet. If you've heard something else or completely disagree with me, I would love to hear your comments out there because I used to kind of be the type of person where I was like, oh, carry a full size. I don't care if it's concealed or not because we didn't have a lot of the options that we have now that are better pistols, more reliable, more capacity, and that have controls that are a little bit more easy to use, especially when it comes to something like the Shield Plus that has very aggressive texture everywhere. Makes it a lot easier to run that even though it is smaller. So if you disagree with me, I'd really like to know why and on which one of those five that you maybe disagree with or feel that I could have done a better job explaining. Just always remember training, skill set, and knowing the limitations of what you can do and the weapon system you have can do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe. If you guys want to support the channel in any ways, you can check out the Patreon. Check out any of those affiliate links down below because that's how the channel survives. And again, I would love to hear your comments on what you have heard or what you disagree with when it comes to micros or slim lines. Now, you guys get out there on the range and have some fun. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. I will see you guys on the next one.